right here. And exhaust port right here. So this is intake. Intake exhaust. Intake exhaust. Intake exhaust. Intake exhaust, right? So if you put the cylinder head on the block, the very, very front valve is an exhaust, right? So you got the exhaust on the left side and the exhaust on the right side, right here with these two. And then these two are intakes, left and right. Usually one head is slightly ahead of the other. On these, it's the left side. So this one's going to be the exhaust left, exhaust right, intake left, intake right. Exhaust, left, exhaust, right, intake left, intake right, all the way down. When you look at small blocks, it's different. So you got to look at the layout. Okay? So this is an exhaust. Just so you know, I don't know if it, I think it asks you on the project sheet which one is which, right? You want to set the dial indicator on the base circle of the cam. Base circle is the bottom right here, where it's, where it's round, right? Not round up here. Round over here though. So when you get it on the base circle, it'll it'll stay steady for the time that it's on the base circle that the dial indicator will be. Okay. Here's the dial indicator. Here's the base circle. Oh, it's not staying steady, is it? Why is that? Oh, I know why. Because this thing's flopping. Right. Oh. Okay, we had this problem before. Those bolts? Yeah, the bolts. The bolts are... It's, it's touching the... Uh... Yeah, it's not... It's This is not round anymore. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. So. Yeah, it's not getting a good center off of this here. So we're going to need a washer? No, no washer. Let's see if we can just get it to where it's sitting in the center here. You know what I mean? Um, the base circle needs to be somewhat round, otherwise you're not gonna the whole camshaft's moving around. You know what I mean? Let's see what we got now. Go. It's still not very round. Oh, that's pretty good. Let's see. What are you, what are you looking for I'm right looking, here? I'm looking for this to be centered here. The bottom part here uh -huh. should be fairly close to zero. See, this thing's moving around here. See that? Yeah. That's a few foul out here. How, how many thou is allowable, would you say? Uh, when, when it's right, it doesn't move at all. This moves up and down, too. When you put the small block Chevy ones on there, the bottom the bottom will read zero, okay? So So here's what you do. What do they, what do they want to know? They want to know the the duration. They want to know the duration starting at 50. Now, the list a different question. Right? The duration. The duration. So what you do is is you're going to go from 50 thousandths all the way up and over back to 50 thousandths lift. Okay? So at the bottom is zero. It should be zero all the way around until about here. But this thing's probably moving around. So here we go. We're going to go up to 50. So here we go. I'm going to come around, and there's 50 right there. Okay? It's 50 on that side. So we're right here. Right? Okay, that's 50. Now we continue on all the way up and over back to 50, okay? So we're going to go all the way up. Okay? 
all the way back over to 50. Now, I'm probably going to have to go back past it because I don't know where it stops. There's where it stops, right? Back to zero again. We'll go back up to 50. There's 50. We get a mark there. Okay. So the distance between those two 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, about 95 camshaft degrees of duration at 50 thou, right? But they want it in crankshaft degrees, so what do you got to do? Double it. You got to double it. So it's going to be like 190, right? I had, what did I have? 90? 95. 95. So that's uh, 95 and 95 is going to be uh, yeah, 190. 190. 190. 190. Yeah, so you got 190 degrees on the exhaust. So if you want to get the intake, you got to move down to these two. Okay, that's the duration, the number of crankshaft degrees that the cam holds the valve open starting at 50,000. So, <clears throat> so, so if you buy a camshaft. It'll, have you, it'll give you a card that'll tell you that, and it's, you can check it. Or if you have a camshaft and you don't know what it is, you can check it. Okay. That's, that's what it's for. The only thing you got to watch on this tool here, it, ha it contacts in a very small area there. This is a roller cam. So the roller cam is a round wheel, and that makes a very small contact area. On a flat tappet cam, it's got a big diameter like, like that. So a flat tap of cam starts lifting at the outer edge of the lifter. So if you do this with this on this machine, you'll get the wrong reading. You need to put the lifter in the block, put the degree wheel in the block, and measure it that way. Because the diameter of the lifter has an impact on when it starts lifting and when it's done lifting. Where this one here closely resembles the the high point of a roller rocker. Okay. All right. Does that make sense? Yes. Got on video now. Got Can I record you? Yeah. <laughs> no. After seven you. minutes of recording. Don't <laughs> send it. Right don't, face. don't send it to the LAPD. Wait, isn't there another question on the lab? Uh, lift. Uh, lift. Uh, lift. Yeah, lift. Oh, lift is easy. yeah, can you show lift? That's from zero all the way to the zero, yeah. right? No, high point. Yeah. Hey, this guy's got it figured out. Lift is zero, which is not very good on this. So we got, we got 50, 100, 150, 200, 250, 250, 60, 70. I had 270 something, 275, right? 273. Multiply that times your rocker arm ratio, and that's the actual. So the rocker arm ratio for is this the 350 or the LS? LS. So it's 1.7. One, right? yeah. So someone do the math. 1.7 <coughs> times 275. Do the math. Yeah, million views on YouTube. Okay. Thank you for it, Chad. 467. So it's the the decimal should be over here. And if you look it up online, that's, that's really close to what it should be. Yeah? Yeah, around 460. Perfect.